Hello guys, so in this video we will take a deeper look into definition query and what might be the uses for the definition query for any layer. So you know by now that you can go to the definition query by right click on any layer, go to the properties and go to the definition query and you define a definition query for this layer. And definition query is used for example if you have a lot of data in a certain layer but you want to focus your layer to be showing certain data, you can define an expression to filter this data based on this expression. So let's show an example here. For example, we have uh, the counties layer. The counties layer, I want to show it as two different layers. One of the layers that show the large counties and the other one show the small counties. So we can use the same exact layer twice and do different definition query for each one of them. So for example, we can change the name for this one to make it large counties. And we go to the definition query here and we say new definition query and I will say I want to show the counties that have an area greater than or equal to and let's see what is the values we have so we have from 613 square miles up to all the way to 14,000 miles so let's say for the large counties I will show only the counties that is bigger than 3,000 miles so here I will enter 3,000 miles so any county that have 3000 miles or bigger it will be filtered for me right here so when I click OK you'll see that right now my layer will only show some of the counties and if you open the attribute table this is the only counties you will see if you copy the layer to any other layer or if you export the layer you will only export this counties so right now I have a definition query for the counties with large counties let's now try to show the small counties we can right click here we can go copy and then paste it again right here and now we will have another one called large counties but this one I will put it at the bottom here and I will name this one small counties and I will go and change the definition query for this one to only show the area that is less than or smaller than 3000 and when I click OK you will see that right now I have the other layer separate from the first one you can come here and change the color so let's say for example make it yellow now we have two different layers actually using the same source layer so both of them if we check the source for each one of them you will see that both of them have in the source for the counties layer inside the California Geo database if you check the other one it will have the same source but now it looks like you have two totally different layers looks different you can change the labels for each one of them and you can change the colors you can change the symbology you can treat them right here as a totally two different layers and when you export any one from here it will be exported as a separate layer in using only the features that match the definition query so this is one of the uses for the definition query but right now we will use another way to do definition query for another layer that we will add to our map and do definition query for it and we will use this layer in the coming videos as well so right now I want you to go to view ribbon and open the catalog view and we will go to uh, our data and maps folder and what we will do here we will try to copy the cities layer from the USA map which have all the cities of the United States and also have all the information about population which county which state each city is in and we will go to census folder and look for cities DTL GDP open it and then you will find a point feature class inside of there right click on it and copy and we will go back to our course data folder go to ArcGIS Pro Advanced California and we will paste it inside California Geo database so if you don't have uh, the data and maps you will find this layer right here so we will paste it right here and now we have the cities here let's go back to our map and because we only work on California on this map when I add the cities DTL layer here you will see that it's not going to only add the cities for California but it will add the cities for the entire United States and it will be so many data thousands of data that we don't need to work on so let's add our layer first and you will see that now we have so many points everywhere and each point represent uh, one city and it shows the cities for the entire United States if I zoom to the layer you will see that it will show all the United States cities and it's so much data that we don't need 
look how it looks like we don't need to work on this data we just need this city either for california or for orange county cities so that's why we can use definition query to limit the amount of data we have on our map so right now let's go back to our bookmark or our full extent and here we will zoom in into orange county and what we want to do right now is only make a definition query to show only the cities that inside Orange County. But before we do that, we need to check what kind of data we have in this layer. So let's open the attribute table. And you will see here that we have so many data, including the population, which county this city is at, which state the city is at, and different other informations that we just want to focus on the state and the county in order for us to filter the cities that inside Orange County. So now we are sure that we have the name of the city, we have the county where the city is, and we have the state where this city is. So let's close our table and go to the definition query. And here we will say, I wanted to filter this city to make a definition query based on the state. So here we will choose a state equal to California. And now we can say OK. And when we say OK, you will see that now we only show the cities for California. So instead of showing this amount of cities for the entire state, now we're showing the city for California only. We need to make more filter for that so we can add another uh, query into our definition query to filter it to show only the cities for Orange County. So we will go to properties again. And here we can say edit. And I will add another clause and say and the county is equal to you can choose orange from here as you see here there's like hundreds of counties across the United States so here we will choose orange or type orange and say apply and now when I click OK you will see that it will filter my cities only to show the cities that exist inside California and inside Orange County and that's all the data I need I don't need to add the cities for the entire United States I just need to focus uh, my work and everything I will do into the cities that exist in Orange County. So right now I have these cities. Let's uh, disable the cities point we have right here that we created before. One other way to create the definition query is by write the SQL statement. So let's go and do the same exact thing. So let's delete this one and say yes and add another query definition. And this time we will write SQL statement. And here we can say I want the state to equal CA, which is California, and county equal orange. Or this time we can do it for Riverside to see how it will reflect on the map. Riverside. So we will show only the cities that exist in this county right here. And apply. We can say OK. And as you will see, the definition query will change to, to show only the cities that exist inside California and inside Riverside County only. So Let's put that back again one more time. And here when you try to edit your SQL statement, if it can fit into this way, it will show up again this way. So we can just change this again to orange. I'll say apply. And one of the other things is that you can add another definition query here and you can say I want to show uh, all the cities that fit inside California. Okay. And you can choose which definition query you want to apply. So you can add different definition queries. So for example, if you work on different states or different counties, and sometimes you want to show this one or to want to show this one, you can come here and just change it from here to select this green button right here to apply this one. And when you click OK, it will show all the cities inside California. Or you can come back here and return it back to our original one for Orange County. Say, I want to show this one right now and say OK. And now it will filter it to show only Orange County cities inside of your map. So that's it for definition query. I hope by now you know how can you use it and what is the uses for it. It's a very, very good tool to have, uh, especially if you're working with large amount of data like you show right now, or if you want to separate your data like what we did with the counties, make large counties and small counties based on the area value. And also remember that whenever you get any new data or some data that you don't know if there's a definition query for it or not, make sure to right click on the layer 
and check if there is a definition query or not to make sure that you are seeing all the data in this layer before you start working on the layer. Just to make sure that you know if there is a definition query or not, make sure to check the definition query for any new data you work on. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you know more about definition query right now and what is the uses for it. And in the next video, we will do joins and relates using the layer we just filtered right now. So thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video.